I'm John Mark Dempsey, and uh, we are having a second cup of coffee here with Steve Killian, who is the – he's admiring our, uh, our, our coffee. I love these cups. cups that, <laughs> see, people might think that uh, there's actual coffee in there, but no, it's not actually oh, – not in this particular occasion. Because they didn't make any for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next time, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take care of that. So uh, we were talking with Steve uh, recently about uh, the, the, the eclipse uh, coming up, which is just going to be – astonishing in terms of uh, the number of people that everyone will have. We've uh, been reading about almost every community in Northeast Texas, certainly Sulphur Springs, but uh, Tyler and, and all the others expecting just a huge number of people. And it's going to be the same with, with Cooper Lake State Park. But let's talk about some other things that uh, are going on in the, in the park. Uh, on Thursday, and uh, this is uh, Thursday, the, what, the 15th then, you have an event that is uh, part of uh, St. Patrick's Day, it's yes. uh, it's uh, it's, it's uh, geared toward uh, celebrating St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> right, it's uh, it's going to be called the Luck of the Iris Archery Shoot. Now, Ranger Alicia is an expert uh, trainer in archery, and this is her passion. She is actually one of the uh, the main announcer for archery in the schools event. Uh, for the whole state of Texas. Really? And we are so fortunate to have Ranger Alicia on our staff. She's a former teacher, but her passion is archery. And during the 15th in the morning, uh, she's going to teach all ages and stages about archery, how to, how to, uh, how to, to, to just the basics all the way up to, to maybe some, some more advanced, but it's all about safety. And all you have to do is show up, we have all the, the compound bows. We have the target set up, and uh, we'll have volunteers along with Miss Alicia. But it's one of our most popular and most intensive classes that we have. So if you're interested, it's, uh, you know, most of our programs are first come, first serve. This is one that's limited because, we, you know, we have so we only have a limited number of, of um, compound bows uh, for because you actually get to learn and take part in the in the archery itself. How often do you have archery classes? I, Ranger Alicia loves to do it about once a month. So it's that often? It's it's pretty often. Now, if you miss this one, there's going to be another one the next month. We might miss August because it's, it's, it's so hot. It's so hot, right? But and we might miss January, but pretty much so all, the, all the all these other months we try to squeeze it in. Now, now uh, you know it's weather dependent, of course. If sure. it's raining, we'll have to cancel it, and that does happen some. But it's one of our it's one of our most popular. But it's something favorite. you can count on just about every just every about month every month. Then. Okay, great. That's a, that's a passion of our ranger ranger Alicia. Saturday, March sixteenth, uh, you're having something I haven't uh, seen before on your schedule. It's called the, the Levy Walk. The Levy Walk. It's a it's a special. It's new. Yep. You know, my, my vision is to build a trail on the levee at Doctors Creek. It'll be about two and a half miles out, two and a half miles back. It'll be about a four mile hike. The cool thing about the levee walk, the levee trail, is you're up above the the, the forest floor, about 20, 25 feet. Mm. So you have beautiful vista views. And this Saturday, Ranger Alicia will take you on a guided walk and she'll explain various animals, trees. You'll see remnant prairies and the like. And, and you'll just get beautiful vista views. You'll get a nice warm breeze. Hopefully it'll be a warm breeze. Uh, uh, so uh, yeah, there's just so, ma so, many, uh, so many things you're gonna experience on top of the levee that you really can't experience when you're hiking a normal trail at ground level. So if, it, if you build a two and a half mile trail there, would that not be the longest trail? At Doctors Creek, it would at be. At Doctors Creek. It would basically double the, the trail mile at Doctors Creek. You know, the South Sulphur unit has a, a vast array of trails. Doctors Creek is a much smaller park, 500 acres, 
and not as many miles of trail. This levee trail would definitely add to the experience for our campers and visitors. Is that something you have funding for already? Well, we, I do have funds. I do have funding. It's not going to cost that much uh, because the, the levee already exists. There's going to be a couple areas we're going to have to build trails and probably uh, put limestone down. And uh, but the cost, cost-wise, it's going to it's not going to be that much. And we have that those funds in our budget. Of course, Parks and Wildlife got a nice bump in, in funding here recently. They, they do. The so. one billion with a B, yeah. but that's not going to come from okay. those funds. Okay, fine. <laughs> not, it won't uh, require anything like that much uh, no, uh, no. money. No, a few thousand dollars. I got it. So now looking on further ahead a little bit, this caught my attention. Saturday, March 30th, you have an event called Become a Junior Ranger. Now that really appeals you to know, me. You know, that's that's exciting because you know we, we're always looking for the future generations. Yeah. And we want to teach the kids about, you know, the flora, the fauna, stewardship, stewardship. That's the key. Yeah. And, you know, leave it better than you found it. Leave no trace. And we have little booklets that uh, that are perfect for, you know, nine, eight, nine year olds on up. And they, they go and fill, fill out various aspects of the book in the park. And then when they're finished, they come to park headquarters and then we have an oath ceremony and then they get a badge and it's a, it's quite exciting it's really for all ages and stages but really the kids uh, the kids love it that really could start a, a kid on the path to becoming a, a, a has, park ranger and it has and it, it sure has, has. Yeah. so it's at 10 o'clock at doctor's creek and uh, two o'clock at south sulfur sulfur on uh, saturday march 30th that's a fun one Bring that's, the kids out. That's a, that is that's that's a neat event. Uh, we're almost out of time. Uh, still trout fishing available there at the, at the pond. We had a we had a trout event uh, a few days ago. We did catch trout. Caught one trout. The trout are nearing the end of their their life cycle in the mm -hmm. pond because mm -hmm. remember they're a cold water fish. So every year we're going to stock trout. And if you missed it this year, next this, you do that in in, in twenty. In 2025, we will uh, we'll stock uh, rainbow trout again, again in, in January. January. Yes, but, but if you go, so if you go do any trout fishing, come on now, uh, now, <laughs> now, now is the time. Okay, great. Steve Kelly is the superintendent at Cooper Lake State Park, both South Sulphur and Doctors Creek. Thanks, Steve. Thank and, you. Uh, I'm John Mark Debsey. This is KSST.